Hey everybody, today on Political Excess, we've got another presidential shift for you, but this time it's going to be 1976 to 2020. So, as always, I've got the usual spreadsheet here that I made, and in the first column, of course, we have the states. The second column is the 1976 Democratic vote, that is Jimmy Carter, followed by the 76 Republican vote, that is Gerald Ford. The next column is the 2020 Democratic vote, that is Joe Biden, followed by the 2020 Republican vote, that is Donald Trump. And the next column is the Democratic shifts between those two elections, followed by the Republican shifts. And finally, the last column is the net change between the two parties between the two elections. And I also have some shading in this column. The darkest colors are going to be 10 or more point shifts, and the lightest red and blues are going to be under five point shifts. So real quick background about the 76 election. This was a real close one. Jimmy Carter won it. He won 23 states plus D.C., that's 297 electoral votes. He got 50.1% of the popular vote. And on the other side, Gerald Ford, he assumed the presidency after Richard Nixon resigned. So there was a little bit of a cloud hanging over Ford. Plus the previous election in 72, that was the Nixon landslide. So voters were potentially looking for some change. Ford was from Michigan and he won 27 states for 240 electoral votes and 48% of the popular vote. So there's going to be some interesting shifts here. Plenty of states go in all different directions. As now we're jumping ahead 11 presidential elections, there's plenty of realignments and changes over that time. So let's get started here in Alabama. And in 1976, Jimmy Carter got 55.7% of the vote. Gerald Ford got 426 Jump ahead to 2020, Joe Biden, he dropped all the way down to 366 Donald Trump, he bumped it all the way up to 62%. That's a net loss of 19.1 for the Democrats, a net gain of 19.4 for the Republicans, and a total net change of 38.5 away from the Democrats and toward the Republicans. That is a massive shift. Carter had a lot of Southern appeal, being from Georgia back then. And after this election, that's when a lot of Southern states did start to shift toward the right. So now we know how this works, and we could quickly go through the rest of these states. Alaska, that shifted 12.2 toward the Democrats. Arizona, that also went toward the Democrats by 16.9. The next state is Arkansas, and that had the biggest shift out of all the states, and that went toward the Republicans by a colossal 57.6. Carter won that by 30 points in 76. Trump won it by nearly the same margin in 2020. So Arkansas pretty much completely reversed from where it was back in 1976. Next state, California. We know that's gotten very blue over the years, and it shows 31 points away from the Republicans and toward the Democrats. Colorado, similar situation, a 25-point shift toward the Democrats. Connecticut had almost the same shift, 25.2 toward the left. Delaware, smaller shift toward the left by 13 and a half. Florida, that went toward the Republicans by 8.6. Georgia, that was Jimmy Carter's home state. He was the governor there, so he won it huge by almost 67%. And even though the state was very competitive in 2020, from that high point in 76, it shifted 33.4 toward the Republicans. In Hawaii, that went 26.9 toward the Democrats. Idaho, and even 8% toward the GOP. Illinois went toward the Democrats by 18.9. Indiana got redder by 8.4. Iowa as well by 7.2. And also in Kansas by 7.1. Kentucky is a state that used to be blue, and that shifted a massive 33.1 toward the Republicans. Similar in Louisiana by 24.3. In Maine, that went back toward the Democrats by 9.9. .9. In Maryland, that had a huge lurch toward the left by 27.2. Massachusetts again by 17.8. Michigan also toward the Democrats by 8.2. Minnesota that's kind of a blue state, but that went toward the Republicans by 5.8. In Mississippi, that went toward the GOP by 18.4. Same in Missouri by an even 19%. Montana also got redder by a more modest 8.9. Nebraska got a little bit bluer by 1.6. Nevada a little bit bluer still by 6.8. New Hampshire went even further toward the Democrats by 18.6. Also in New Jersey by 18.1. New Mexico by 13.3, and in New York by 18.7. North Carolina, that went back toward the right by 12.4. North Dakota had a giant shift there toward the Republicans by 27.4. Ohio, also toward the Republicans by 8.3. Oklahoma had a substantial shift toward the Republicans by 31.9. Oregon went toward the Democrats by 16.3. Pennsylvania had minimal shift there, 1.5 toward the Republicans. Rhode Island went 9.5 toward the left. South Carolina, big shift 
shift there toward the Republicans by 24.8. South Dakota had almost the same shift by 24.7. Tennessee had another huge shift toward the GOP by 36.2. Texas was won by Carter in 76, and since then, it went toward the Republicans by 8.7. Utah got bluer by 8.3. Vermont, it used to be a reliably Republican state, and since then, it's become one of the bluest states, and it had the biggest Democratic shift out of all the states on here by a massive 46.6. Virginia had a smaller blue shift by 11.4. Washington, a bigger blue shift by 23.1. West Virginia had almost the biggest shift out here, just behind Arkansas, but look at that. That's another serious political realignment 55.1 toward the republicans wisconsin had the least change out of all the states on here only a one percent shift toward the republicans and the last state is wyoming it was a red state in 76 and in 2020 it shifted 23.8 percent away from the democrats and toward the republicans so those are all the states but i also have washington dc on here and that was very blue back in 76 but it got 21.7 percent bluer in 2020 so those are all the states and all the shifts and as always we could do one more thing with this data we can help visualize it by applying it to a map and here it is it's the same basic shading the darkest colors are going to be 10 or more point shifts and the very lightest colors those would be the tilt margins of under one point there's none of those on this map so then the lightest color would be under a five point shift those would be the lean margins so three levels of shading and i also have the congressional districts in maine on here as well so what are the takeaways on here well i think this was such a close election in 76 it was also a pretty close election in 2020 the third party vote in both of these years was not overwhelming so it's a good comparison to see where we've come over the last four to five decades and this is a very even shift there were 26 shifts toward the republicans and 24 toward the democrats 25 if you throw in dc the most obvious place to start is at the south we know that became reliably republican in deep red pretty much ever since the 80s and that really shows on this map and in the other direction the northeast in new england and the west coast that went in the complete opposite direction and in a place like virginia that was a pretty reliably red state up until about 2008. Georgia, that's competitive today, but that number is going to be skewed because Carter was from Georgia, but still a massive shift away from the Democrats there. Minnesota, that was a blue state back in 76, and according to this, it shifted moderately toward the Republicans. West Virginia was one of the reliably blue states back in the day, and now it's one of the reddest states out there, not competitive in the slightest. Michigan trended toward the Democrats, and I do like how in Wisconsin, that state had almost no movement at all, and it Pretty much voted in line in 2020 as it did in 76. For me, that was one of the more notable shifts. So there's plenty of other things you could point out on here. The states in the Southwest and Alaska and Illinois, those states got a lot bluer. The Upper Great Plains, those also got a lot redder. And a lot of the states back in 1976, either Carter or Ford won those states by a small margin. There weren't that many dramatic blowouts back then. Even Gerald Ford in his home state of Michigan, he won it, but only by about five points. Not as convincing as you might expect from him technically being the incumbent president in his home state. That is pro that's probably more indicative of the national environment at the time and Ford's track record while he was in office. So 76 was a great election. A lot of states voting red or blue back then. That wouldn't make any sense today, but that's what happens when you go back a few decades. Plenty of different changes and realignments. States are potentially always in the process of discovering a new political identity. It'll be exciting to see what happens in 24, but I will leave it there for now. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about any of the shifts in any of these states? What do you think about Carter or Ford? Let me know down below. On your way out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.